from last video i want to share this beautiful mind map of s3 server side encryption with you we only need to try this we created one s3 bucket we uploaded this server side encryption pdf file and then i try to make this particular bucket public i tried this using acl and also i used a bucket policy but i was not successful in this video i am going to tell you the reason behind this why i am not able to make my bucket public the reason is this particular setting known as block all public access if you click over here you will get four different options as well i am going to explain you all of these four options theoretically and practically as well so let's start with the mind map and today's topic is block public access so here we have these settings provide centralized way to block public access to your s3 bucket bucket s3 buckets and object see this setting the name itself is saying that block all public access this setting is actually blocking this public access setting why because of the security as uh, security risk aws recommended enable this settings to prevent accidental exposure of their data see what happen if you make any bucket public all the objects within bucket will be public as well so all your data will be exposed on the internet so aws having a clear intention that even by mistake you cannot enable your bucket access to the public so they provided this particular setting if this setting is on you cannot make your bucket or bucket object public so here you can set up the block public access at two level as well so aws provided this kind of restrictions at two level one at account level and another at bucket level when we are talking about account level you can access you can configure block public access setting on your entire aws account this is the most secure option see here i am seeing this setting is on at bucket level if you want to see this setting at account level you can click over here and see here we have this block public access setting for this account if you make it on over here it will not allow you to make any bucket public you have to remove this option you have to make it off from here then you can make any bucket or object public because here you are going to set up this restrictions at at account level yes you can also set this restrictions at bucket level as well and this is what we are getting from here and it is on at bucket level okay so bucket level setting you can also set the block public access for individual bucket this allows more granular bucket or control because you have a option at particular bucket level now this is not inheritation kind of thing so i am giving you an example you will get better understanding see block public access is enabled at the account level let's say that i have block public access enabled at account level now what will happen block public access is disabled at the bucket level for a specific bucket now you have block public access enabled at account level but disabled at bucket level now what will happen even though block public access is disabled at bucket level you will still not able to make object public within the bucket within the bucket public okay so if it is enabled at account level it will not allow you to make any bucket public even for this particular bucket the setting is actually off so you have to off this at both of this level the account level setting takes precedence and override the bucket level setting okay so you know when you are going to set up a uh, block public access at account level you are actually adding one extra layer of security that's all by default account level settings are off and bucket level settings are actually on now if you go to this particular option you will get four options even at the at the at the account level or at the bucket level so let's understand all these four options as well so here i am going to explain you all these four options practically so the first is block public access to the buckets and object granted through the new acl see this is the first option we have 
I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to remove this. Now, if it is not there, the tick mark is not there, the meaning is I can make my bucket public using ACL or using a bucket policy. Okay. We are going to understand all this step by step. The first option that is where public access to the bucket and object granted in the new ACL. Prevent the creation of new public ACL on the bucket and objects does not affect the existing public ACL. Okay. So let's understand this. First of all, what I'm doing, I'm going to use this particular option. Means this option is blocked. Means it will not allow me to make my bucket public using ACL, new ACL. Okay. So this setting is now enabled. Other settings are disabled. Okay. So let me click on serve changes. Here you have to type confirm at each and every time. Okay. So let's use confirm. Now I'm going to the ACL. So just need to scroll down. See here it is ACL. Here everyone public access. Okay. For object list for bucket ACL read. Okay. I acknowledge this and save changes. You don't have permission to edit this ACL setting. Why? Because of this particular setting here. I said that I don't want to make any object public using ACL. Now what I am doing, I am going to remove this. Let me click on save changes. Let's confirm this. Now, going to the edit and look at this. Now I can make it public. Yes, I have to acknowledge this and now it is public. Because I removed this. Okay. Now the second option is even more interesting. Okay, even more interesting. So let's understand this. Block public access buckets and object granted to any ACL. Here it is for new ACL, but this one is for any ACL. See, prevents public access to the bucket and object even if allowed by existing or new ACL. Here it is for new. Here it is for existing and new. Ensure that no object is publicly accessible due to any ACL configuration. Stronger protection compared to blocking only new ACL. Okay, now let's understand this. See, here, you know that my bucket is currently public. Right? Look at this. My bucket is currently public. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to select this. That, oi, I don't want this object, I don't want this bucket to become a public. Okay, I am going to enable this. Means it is going to block my public access for this bucket. Let me click on save changes. Let me say confirm. Now let's verify that. Is it public or not? See. See. It is there. List and read. The method is when you are going to set up Or use this option, it is not going to make any changes because it is not going to apply on a on an existing setting of ACL. There is an existing setting, so it is not going to work. But this option is actually working well because it is going to apply on an existing ACL or any new ACL that you are going to create in the future. So, if I'm going to select this one, okay, what happened? Currently, I have one bucket access ACL. It is going to remove this. So, let me go scroll down and say remove. Why? Because this setting is actually blocking public, public access for existing ACL or it is not allowed new ACL in the future as well. Okay. This is for only new one. Existing will not affect it over here. Here existing and new one will be affected. So it will not allow you to make your bucket public using ACL in any case. Right. Now let's talk about the these two. This two is for the uh, bucket policy. Okay. So effect is like the same. So let's understand. 
block public access to the bucket and object granted through the new public bucket or new or access point policy. See, right now, just concentrate on the bucket policy, access policy. I will talk about this in upcoming video when we will talk about access point policies. Okay. Remain creation of the new bucket policy that allow public access to the bucket or its object. Prevent creation of the new access policy that allow public access to the object with the access point and do not affect existing public bucket or access point policies. This is what the same that we have. This is for ACL. This is for, uh, for bucket policy. Now, let's understand the fourth one. Block public access, cross account access. Block public access and cross account access to the bucket and object through the any public bucket or access point policies. If you are talking about public access, means anyone can access this. If you are talking about cross account access, means other AWS account cannot access your object. Now, impose the strict level of access control on S3 bucket and object. Ensure that only authorized users and service within your AWS account can access the resources. The effect is like same, same as ACL. This one, this particular option, is not allowing me to add new one and this will not allow me for the existing or new one. So what I'm doing, let's go with this block public access, I'm going to click on save changes, confirm. Now I'm trying to make my bucket public using a uh, bucket policy. So here it is bucket policy. Let me click on edit. Now I have bucket policy as well. So let me copy this. This is what we have used over here. So control C. And I'm going to paste this. Again, I have to change this ARN. Definitely it will not allow me because we see your market policy changes can't save. So let me click on cancel and let me click on edit. Remove this now. Again, I have to type confirm and edit. I have to copy this policy. Now save changes. Now it is done. And I can say that my bucket is public right now because of this bucket policy. Okay. So, this is how the things are working. Let's go back to the properties again. And what will happen if I'm going to tick right now? If I'm going to tick it right now, if I'm going to select this option right now, it is not going to make my public private or my, uh, my bucket private again because it is only applying on the on the new policy, but this will make my uh, bucket private again because it is going to block for existing policy or new policy. So what I'm doing, I'm going to select this and let me click on save changes. Let me say confirm. Okay. Now let me go with this. See the public access is blocked because block public access setting are turned on for this bucket. It is not allowing me because I selected this particular fourth option. I hope you understand the concept of all these four options. In, in, in most of the videos, they are not actually providing practical understanding of a bucket, block bucket access. So I thought like you need to understand this as well. I know that you want this PDF. I will provide it to you, but for this, you have to wait for the next video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.